think there should be much better. Much later at night. Um, I've been working with scraps a bit. Get that extra work in. Fight how you like. I don't have no problems with how anybody fights. Pretty relaxed about it. I can't expect two people to fight the same exact way. I, 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 don't, I don't really give a damn. Because what's funny, those people who do that, I could block them with one hand. It just takes a little bit of knowledge. Nice, very nice. What a move. Straps showing some great technique with that blow. Very nice. One, two. A little tip, sometimes attacking during a stagger could go and uh, hinder your breathing. Sometimes that's why I'd back off. I don't hit during stagger very much just because it's like I don't need it. You know you know what I mean? I'm just I'm just giving you tips, that's all. Yeah. I don't know. As long as you have control over it and you can go and test yourself, it's good. When you're ready. One. You're doing real nice. Two, you got that movement going. I haven't three, kind of worked this hard since since a minute. There's only been one fighter who's made me work this hard. Well, harder, but you're doing pretty good though. A hard Sprout sends the other end stumbling back. He's reeling. Heavy. Ooh, that blow left him wide open. Will Sprout follow through? Oh, I thought I could duck that one. Very nice. One, two, I'll actually give you credit. You're doing real good. I love the fact you're not even trying to run from me. You stand in and bang me. What a shot. Scraps really showing off his power with that one. Oh, that's true. Two. Three. Well, I know, like, I like applying a lot of pressure in fights. I ain't letting the bastard breathe. You know what I mean? That's why I like keeping the offense up. Ooh, that was very nice. Slide and duck. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Learning the mechanics of the will get away with makes all the difference. Oh yeah, he caught me in the stagger. That was nice. I'm curious about the scoreboard. Oh no, trust me. Oh man, trust me. If it means anything, I got, I got that. I got that. I got it right now. Everything, everything that's gone down. That's that's close. That's very nice. That's very nice. <laughs> I, I, I swear I hate the disconnect. Man, I, I love it when somebody wants to, you know, taunt, smack me before the game. Then I quit. I think I actually have it from earlier today. I don't really clip them, because I know most of my fights end up like that, but we do have a fight night. And it happens, uh, what, what time is it? It is, it's about 7.20. It happens around, like, two hours ago. It's usually the time we go and hit it up around Five Eastern. I, I don't know what. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah, we have it uh, Friday, Saturday is when we do it. And, oh, man, it was... We generally have it. There's a guy, he's up on the reaction dummy. You know, the dummy that you have to hit the little circles on, the reaction one. He, his name is Spartan. He's real good. That man, he's a beast. He comes on later in the day, from my knowledge. Try to look for the guy. Like, the guy's real good, trust me. And he's real nice. He, that man, we were sweating <laughs> earlier. I don't sweat too much during a fight, but that man made me sweat it. Oh, man. Oh, no. Okay. You know what's funny is, you, you know that small little yellow box on the ground right now? That's pretty much just play space I got. My right foot is standing right here, My or my left foot. I am not stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm retarded. And my other foot is standing right here. That's it. It's just... I just lean. That, that's all I do. I got a very small area to work with. I have a little bit in front of me. It's just I don't like moving because then if I get too close, then I'm like, nah, it's gonna... Stationary it. Oh, yeah. Oh, good cat, good cat. One of the biggest things I try to tell people to do is get forward movements. That knocked him around. You know, I think I might actually hit on this dagger. It's giving me too much trouble. Hey, it's a respect thing, it's a respect thing, you know what I mean? What a shot! Apollo really showing off his power with that. One! Two! I hold off on like a lot of my movement. And if you haven't noticed, I don't like ducking and weaving too much, and I don't hit during stagger to hinder my ability. I do it to make it harder. One, two. Oh no, that was, that was good. That was solid. Oh yeah, you're. Oh yeah, especially if you run your stamina out. Perfect hit from Apollo. Oh no! Oh, I thought I ducked you. You stepped right in my way. That was good. Yeah, I have this little maneuver I used to use on uh, PSVR. On the, yeah, the PSVR Creed. Much harder to use. And you might catch me doing it, but pretty much the, uh, you know the alt movement? So you got your joystick. That's what everybody moves with, right? That, that alt where you could, you can move with your arms, right? What I would do, especially when you just got me, my whole thing is to duck you, move you, and I could duck right under your attack. And I'll zip right through you. It's a very good movement. It's very good for uh, getting out of the way. You ready? Oh, that's gotta hurt. Uh. Oh, oh, there's no match. Apollo says the other fighter's staggering. He's wide open now. Apollo catches his opponent. When it comes to infighting, there's very few people who can keep and uh, keep up, in my opinion. You pay attention to the uh, to the leaderboards very much. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You say what? Okay, I'll I'll get it out there before the end of the night. All right.
I'll get him. Just let me get done with what I'm doing. Asshole. <laughs> no, I wish. Family. <laughs> A mama, even worse. <laughs> you know, uh, those uh, individual leaderboards, uh, the flurry dummy. Oh no, let me tell you, I have a score that nobody comes close to. 1,300 plus. And the flurry dummy. It took about anywhere from about 45 to an hour to achieve. It's not so much the time, but the endurance and the focus. I scholar a lot. Oh yeah. yeah. I scholar a lot in standing and banging. That's why anyone who's tried to challenge me in a close range, I'm like, oh, you think you can stand and bang? I don't think so. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Scrappy Boy another try. I want, I want to win. I'm going to get this win. I hate that map. I'm so sick of seeing that map. The 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 new one. The uh, uh the beach. I forget. Old school fighter. I'm, I forget, like, uh, PSVR was the original Creed. Not the Champions Edition. We didn't get that map. We didn't get the uh, Nez. We didn't get none of those characters. No, not, my, not the one I used to train in. Oh, yeah. So, like... Oh, yeah. There's, there's a lot to... Uh, there's a lot of characters and stuff that was missing. All right. I ain't letting up on a stagger this. <laughs> Told you, it comes real handy. That little maneuver of mine, it comes real nice. Body like it was nothing. Body shots are so fun to cave in. Most people think it's all about the head, that's why I go for it. One, two, One of Scraps' biggest three, problems is he's weak, so it takes more four. to stagger. You're tougher to stagger because you're uh, more helped. It's amazing seeing the stats go off like that. Our characters are complete polar opposites. When you have the increased health, I have less damage. You have less endurance, I have more. I don't know if I ducked or if there was like an incorrect dodge on one of our points. Six. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, sometimes you could get stuck up the ring. Back then it was so much worse where you couldn't even get it. Oh shit, I got caught. Oh, you yeah, recovered just a tad bit faster. One. Two. Three. See, the other type of fight where I need to go and uh, spar with more. Oh, yeah. You know, just, you and I could just go toe-to-toe -to -toe a lot. It's fun. <laughs> One, I know if you get two, hit enough, you'll move your stagger three, points, too. It's like, oh, shit. Sod and death, no pressure. You, you could get up, you one, could get up, you can get up, it's two, just a bitch. Three, I've heard only one player has managed to get four, up. One player from, uh, five, that I'm aware of has gotten six, up from that. Seven, eight, 
Nine, nah, but it was a good attempt. Good ten. attempt, though. At least you tried. Both your uh, knuckles are off the ground, so you know what? That's good enough. Oh, that was very nice. I know. I wish I could get an opportunity for that more. I want to be the one, one of the very few people who can and will be able to get up in that. Oh yeah, this is one giant recording. I usually post this up on the. Uh, I probably will post this on uh, YouTube if you don't mind. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll send you the link actually. Then you can see like the opponents I fight. Like uh, that Spartan guy, you can see what he looks like, and you'll see why I say he's a good fighter. This man, he's tough as shit. This man, he chews up nails, spits them out, all that type of stuff. He's going to be greasy fast to lightning speed. You were spinning, weren't you? Yeah, once that spin hits, I'm like, oh, I feel bad for doing it. That's some of the reason why I don't like kittens during stagger. If he dies, he One, dies. Two. So you watch the movies very much, or you just play the game for the game? Oh, you're missing out. Number four is pretty good. That sent him to the line. Oh, I was hoping for a no T. Oh, no, not done. There's no uh, rule saying you have to get up instantly either. Six. A lot of players just get up instantly. I'm like, unless you got the endurance to, especially in like cases with us. You know, high speed, in fighters, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was a good side. That was a good squad. <laughs> Mama mia, you got me good with that. That was very, very nice. those body shots Two, that's what kills you three, four, five. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> let's see what this real part is that's pretty close that's pretty close I'm surprised you didn't go down sooner actually I was expecting our uh, stats would have clashed. I'm surprised. You know what? I think it would be so quick. Fuck it. I'll take a stab at it.
You actually got this for me, Court. Put it pretty close, I would say, for sure. We definitely. <laughs> oh, um, you could also. You know that hand menu you got? You could always pull that up and it'll tell you your opponent's name at the bottom. Yeah. Like, my, my glorious opponent, Overlay67. Oh, yeah, this man. He's good. He's good. He ain't no Spartan, I'll tell you that, right, bro. I need to stop screwing around. I really need to take him more seriously. <laughs> I think the biggest problem I have right now is I need I haven't been playing this Drago nearly as much for a exchange for scraps. So I forget my uh, no defense, like bad defense comes into play. So as long as you got good, uh, if you have good enough on the uh, offense, you can keep that up. You could keep me from regenerating stamina. That's why I keep backing off. I'm like, it's not my stamina. That's the problem. Oh yeah. That was a trade in a way. That was good. One, two, three. You know, I'm trying to remember if I was talking shit the first time we met. I have a habit of doing that. I, I think you and I think I was actually impressed with you when I first met you. You left handed or right handed? Oh, you pulling some shit out then. You using your left hand a lot better than I expected. Is that alternative mode uh, movement I'm using? Well, I stick to just one way. Oh, I thought. One, two, three, four. I lost my touch with Chicago. Son of a bitch. This is stamina that's coming into play. Four, that's the problem. Is I'm standing and banging five, with somebody. Six, well, my stamina isn't horrible, but I can't regen it like I want to. So in your case, I would easily be able to do it. The problem though is my character won't allow it. I think I got lucky with a few hooks in to the side. Oh yeah, I've had to go overboard with that aim. I had to go work overtime. I'm surprised your stamina hasn't ran out as much. Hit you so hard. Hit you so hard I killed you. He will lose. Oh yeah, well I'll see what I change it. You know. Where's Philly? I want Philly. Fuck that. Wait, no, where's medics? There we go. I love this map. Even if it's just cosmetics. Too bad it wasn't old school Mighty Mix. I would have loved that. Rocky won Mighty Mix. The Jim Rock. Yeah, this is the first movie. Oh, I just have this one giant. I just have this like one giant thing and I just use the uh, internet to do it on my headset. Oh yeah, that's fair. That's why I just post it on YouTube, unlisted, if I only want certain people to see it. And then just send the link directly. A hard 
punch from Balboa. <laughs> I had to double tap that one. It, it, it's so hard to figure out too. I'll use it whenever I wish too. Oh yeah, cause in essence all I really am doing is it's just a giant rush. That's pretty much all it is. It's arm power. Rock, Two, you and I become the best friends. Three, four, five. Yeah, the bell rung the first time, I think. Balboa looks like he's going for the knockout. Oh, you caught me. You ain't doing that shit this time. You weren't having that one. Oh, sometimes I don't even actually do it, I just duck. It's all a mind game. You know the upper, your right controller, upper button, I don't remember the button's name. That autofocus. That autofocus. Like this. Boom. Oh man, it's so it's so useful. Oh, you have smooth. Oh, I have to do snap turn. I have to. That's not a choice for me. I have to do it. One, two. I think that's one of my biggest things. Three, like that's one of my biggest four, pet peeves on game. I don't care if you do it. Five, but the closer you get to me, it's like get the fuck off me. Cause you can't. You're making it to where I can't utilize my my range. <laughs> oh yeah, sometimes I'll do it myself, but <laughs> I utilize a pretty Two, decent ranged attacks at times, three, especially for four, players who want to keep their distance. Because if you don't mind my asking, how tall are you? You're short. Okay, yeah. You you below six feet? Okay, well. I'm six up. I had that range, and so that's something that you can keep and use to your advantage. Is your small stature. Oh, I thought I hit that very quick. quick. One, two, three. I think you just had to go to uh, one to my, to my left. What a shot, Balboa! Showing all his power with that blow. Oh man, I'm surprised that I'm having to hit that many attacks. Okay, in this case, okay, that makes sense. But damn, I'm surprised Nez ain't going down quicker, especially with my abuse on your stamina too. I would have expected it. Oh yeah. Now I've been told by a lot of players, my hands are heat seekers. Even if you dodge, let's say you duck underward, my hand would go, no you don't. I'm not afraid to backhand, it works. There's stuff in uh, real boxing and there's just a lot of shit people don't like and I'm like, if it works, it works. I don't hear no rules against it in a real ring. If it ain't uh, against the rules in a ring, I don't give a shit. Do what you need to. Like I hate those players. Like, what's what's nice about the uh, quote quote league or the fight night I host 
which was I took over from an old friend of mine, one of my old trainers. He hasn't upgraded to Quest yet. But we like the idea of fighting with everything we got how you want, why you want. Because like our height difference, you ain't gonna fight the same as I am. So why should you be held to go and fight the same way? Why are you forced to do a, a, a max, uh, like a, you have to be certain feet in? You know, it's like, nah, that's some stupid shit. Or if uh, someone with high endurance like myself, who could go and throw hands for hours and still continue walking off fresh, why should I be told I can't hit no more than a three hit combo? Otherwise it's called spamming. So pretty much we just, we fight how we want, the way we want. Because, I mean, you're only as good as your best opponent. If your best opponent is so damn tough because he's just working everything he has, you'll eventually bait it. Like, uh, the guys who just, like, I kid you not, this is all you have to do. I'm like, it's, it's just a problem. You just learn it, you beat it, get on with it. And... Oh, oh no! Nah. Just, just nope. Just, just Captain America. Just that shit. No, the way I like looking at it is, I don't belong to these leagues, and those league players could kiss my ass. I actually have a video fighting one of those official leagues. He beat me one time to out of eight. I was like, I beat you seven times. I'm like, I'm gonna play Tommy Gun, and I'm like. I win, I win. Because, I mean, Tommy Gunn's exactly the same as Clubber Lang. And I beat his ass as Clubber. It was, it was a one-sided knockout. Actually, speaking about Clubber, you know what? I'm, I'm going to get my hand to playing Clubber. Why not? I like keeping it traditional until I find somebody who's going to keep, uh, keep up on me. But I'm not going to stop myself at three-hit combo. No, if I have... The endurance to throw more. Oh, you better. Hey, I'm gonna throw it. Oh man, that is brutal. I knew, I knew, I knew one, I, I knew once to put me down, like, oh, well, he's going down this round, no I have tempo working for me now. I don't like using it, but it's like, eh. Did that draw blood? Pretty much, so, to put it simply, uh, Clubber gets exhausted faster like you do. You have extra health, but if I get knocked down before you do, I gain bonus damage. Yes. Apollo is the same way, but the only difference he has bonus health. If he knocks out his opponent first, his opponent does bonus damage. So it pretty much means that extra health he got goes away. So it pretty much turns into a Donus at that point. letting you Two, get that chance. <laughs> three, you know, one thing I tell four. people, especially if people want to bitch about how I like throwing rapid punches and constantly doing it, my punches ain't just like, you know, like a slap. If you pay attention, and this is why I record my fight nights, if you pay attention, like in this one, you'll see where my hands actually curve, like, you, you know, like you're supposed, like I'm properly throwing a punch.
was surprised my left hand got that shot, actually. Two, three, yeah, my biggest four, pro is my aggressive five. offense. The better you can push my offense into defense, the better chance you got to win. Like that. You had me on the ropes, I'm like, shit. And I worry too much about it. The closer I get pushed into the edge, the more I go defense, and it's like, nah. Well, I'm gonna go in a desperate offense. I'll tell people how I fight, just so you could go and fight it. Just so I could go and <laughs> tell be like, yeah, you know what I'm doing. I'm still winning. Oh, yeah. I mean, everyone's going to lose eventually. Everybody will lose to somebody. It don't matter when or where you will lose. That, that's a fact of the game. Everyone's going to. Because, I mean, that's just how it goes. If I lose, there's one or two reasons why I lost. And I've actually done this to people, especially players who come up with such horrible form, and I'm like, whatever. I'm, like, I've had this guy, I think he might have been featured in my fight night video this week. I, 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 I don't even know. But the guy just came in and just kept doing that. I'm like, whatever. I'm like, and he's still doing that. I'm just, <laughs> to the crowd, and, I'm, and he's hit me in the back, and I'm like, yeah. And then I come back, and I'm just like, bitch, bitch, bitch. When I go and let somebody take and hit me, the only knockdown they're getting is the one I gave them. That's how I go and do it. You know, I don't try my hand with Farrah uh, Donnie all too much. What do your shirts look like again? You know what? Actually, I could use it. Look, I gotta be styling and profiling. But when I fight, I definitely like keeping things more legit and stuff like that. I tell people this a lot, like, uh, would you like a little bit of a tip for training, actually? Do you play any other boxing games on your headset? Do you play any other games altogether on your headset? That's exactly what I was looking for. That's exactly what I was looking for. It's not about the, uh, it's not about the players you're looking for. It's not about getting in the ring. You know how they have dummies up there? Work on those. Those are the ones that I go off. If I can't make it go boom, that means my form isn't good enough, my punch isn't fast enough and strong enough, and I need to do it again. Yeah. I prefer... I prefer... I prefer this over um, VRC at any time. Like, this is, in my opinion, the greatest boxing game in VR, period. I feel like this gives the most solid of solid and the most fair. There's no competitive advantage. There's no nothing. It's all about who's better. Because I'm the type of player, and I've done this to you already. You've beat me with a player. Like, Drago Aaron Scraps I've lost with. I will openly probably say I lost. Hell yes, it's about time. But I also came back and I beat you with them too. And, that, and that's the thing. I'm like, there's not a player on this board I can't win as. There are players I definitely hate playing as. <laughs> well, Mad Dog, I hate that asshole. I, I don't know why. It's like he has, I don't know, it's just something about him. I just can't play as him all too great. It's like one of the best chances. But once somebody's like, yeah, play as him, knowing words, I'm like, okay, I'm going to put I'm putting it to where I'm winning this. I'm going to push to win. But I'm like, this, stat-wise aside, even with stats that were meant to, like, I was not meant to win with scraps. Health-wise, you were supposed to win because you had much more hit than I could. Whether we had the endurance or not, that, that, that's that. You should not have lost to scraps, but here it was. That's not what happened. Apollo versus scraps. Apollo will lose, or is able to lose, 
oh yeah, I've beaten players with uh, Paolo as scraps. And I'm like, as long as they don't get the upper hand, which most of them never do, I'm like, I'm weak. I'm just having to hit you more. And I don't mm. let people do it. And I don't hit during stagger. I don't duck and weave very much. The best I might do is the uh, duck on my thing. J just kind of like out of habit of trying to keep proper form and just proper, you know, etiquette. But I'm like, that's, that's just how it works. Where like Thrill of the Fight is an offline game. And VRC is a fun boxing. But the problem is, is there's too much, too many variables. Way too many. You got to deal with avatars. Which varies so much. Your avatar is something else. The hitbox is so pronounced, like you only could really get right around the jawline, right below our chest, and then right around our belly button. I'm like, I've tried, like my hook that I'm so proud of, I'm like, I can't hit my hook. The side swiper hook that I could always hit here, I can't hit it there, because the hitbox don't render. It's too advanced for, too advanced for the RC to do. And then you got the different modes, where this one is always the same mode. It's always guaranteed the same general hit points that you will take anywhere from 90 to 120, depending on who your opponent is. Most of the time, you'll hit about 90 to 110 at max, most of the time. You generally average about 90 to 100, though. That's how much uh, tough characters usually render. Even with, like, uh, strong characters, 50-50. Last game, it was another 50-50. But in this case, it's like, we're guaranteed a set number. Like, in my case, I think I'm going to average about anywhere from, like, mid-80s to uh, 100. That, that them are just the facts. So, the, like, the variables ain't going to change all too much. It's just character-wise. And then, like, Scraps and Nez, in that case. In that case, it was stats working against each other, but then again, we also have the benefit of having stats also work for us, too. Like the endurance gain or the whatnot. We're in uh, VRC, and I've seen people just... I'm like... You guys talk about us. <laughs> but this one, everything's more secure. As long as it's above the belt or right around the... You know, like the stash or the upper part of it. You could hit the opponent. Stuff like that. If you go too low, and I've seen players literally just... I've seen it. I've seen people go and do whatever they can to win. I'm like, here, you can't do that. Because obviously that's you being knocked down. You're, I mean, shit. And it'll, t it'll tax you on your stamina. And I can respect the games with all for that. But this one, besides character stats being the only advantage... There was a game, it's a EC, it was like Error of Combat or EOC or whatever it was called. It is it's just like VRC mixed with this, really. If I'm honest. The problem, though, the problem, this is where this comes into play, though. There's no player getting extra bonus stats, like uh, in this case, which is good in my eyes. They're, the hitboxes are just like ours. The problem, though. You have to walk IRL, so players like you and I will never be able to fight. We got a competitive disadvantage. I mean, if we walk forward, we're very limited, and then we're narrow paths and narrow path. So our ducking will be taken away from us. A lot of our movement has to be IRL. It has to be a big play space. I got a fair distance with mine, it's just, I prefer not having to walk, because like I said, there's stuff in this room, I'm not punching again, keyword again. But because of all that, the idea that we couldn't use a joystick, I'm like, that's pretty stupid. Even the buttons would have been nice, something. But there's just, there's just too many features, or too many variables, I'm like, eh, whatever. Yep. You ready? I don't want to keep a, I don't want to keep What a hit! Creed is a complete powerhouse! I forgot Rocky's supposed to be in my corner. Shut the fuck up, Rock! Rocky, what the f- 
Rocky, well, I think they took him out of the corner once you're offline. I don't know. He's not supposed to be in the corner no more. He used to be, but... I, I know, like, he was meant to be in the corner, but... It's annoying not having him in the corner, or having him in the corner here, and I was like... Just because of the legacy... <laughs> Don't mean shit. A nice punch. One. Oh yeah, I've noticed a lot of your uh, ducking Three. movements. I just keep smacking my controllers together. <laughs> I'm. I mean the. Your side and side. Yeah, your side to side. I've noticed your favorable sides and stuff like that. And I'll go and work you into certain ways to get you to do the side I want you to do. Delivering an absolutely devastating blow to his opponent. Comes with playing the opponent. Nothing. Push harder. You trying to put on a show? Do you all know why I'm doing One, better defense-wise against you this round? Two, the same reason why three. I did last round. Because I don't have to worry about my stamina not coming back to me. With Rocky and Drago, I have to watch how. Uh, <laughs> Like that. My defense. One punch at a time. That was my chance. Oh yeah. I'm keeping that air. So I'm keeping air tight now. Four. Give me. Give me. Give me. There it was. I thought that was a clean, uh, see, 103, like I said about the 90 to 110, told you, although you definitely have me on board with that, when it comes down to punch wise, let's see, I'm trying to tell you. The difference between the two of us. Let's see. You hit about a hundred and a hundred thirteen punches is how much you thrown. I tallied about a hundred and fifty nine. <laughs> and I still got plenty of energy left in the tank. I've gone hours fighting some of the best players you can imagine, trying to just survive just two more minute seconds, trying to keep up my fist for two more seconds. I have a hell of a training regime that I do, or I did to get to this point, and oh man, it's killer. It is something else, and I don't, I don't condone doing it for anybody else. Unless if you want to push yourself, I'll be glad to give it out, but... That training regime is very, very solid. Because. Well. Well. As far as I'm concerned, it's always great to fight somebody who's going to be not only a good sport, which that's key. If you're not going to be a good sport, get the fuck out of my ring. I'll trash you, I'll, t I'll, I'll fuck you up, and then I'm gonna leave. And I'm gonna be the biggest dick about it. Like, that's just how it is. Because a lot of players... I fight some of the greatest fighters. Like, uh, you said you got BRC, right? I could take you to uh, a world, like one of those video worlds, and I'll show you what one of my... my mentor, what he looks like. And this man, you'll see this man is something else. And we fought for uh, over a year now. 
And you'll see like the general idea of the fighters I have to fight in my uh in my fight night crew. And how tough they are. There's only been and every week we do this weekly, by the way. Every Friday, every Saturday we do this. By the end of it is tournament style, the winner of the tournament is crowned champion. Since the 10th of December of last year, I've been the only man to have been winner. Since we upgraded to Quest, I'm the only man who's won out Fight Night. Over 9 months, me, I think it's starting to get about that 10 month range now. And it's, it's one of those things where a lot of people don't think it's all too great until you see the bullshit that we have to put ourselves through to win. It's like, okay, okay, yeah, no, yeah, no, okay. Then, for this game specifically, like I said, those dummies you could find in the lobby, I am on three of the public boards. The directional bag, the flurry bag, and the focus dummy. All three of them I'm up there. Honestly, it's all about just getting a good uh, good tempo and a good shot. Because fun fact, you could actually hit that bag to where it would go in the center of where all those targets will go. As long as you could get good enough and you could just keep them going and keep that tempo going, you could actually just keep bouncing it back and forth. I was never too great at it. I just tried my hand at it. I just happened to still be up there. I'm lucky on that one. But I run top two on the focus dummy with I think 750 maybe 800 on the score I think it's 750 plus on my score up there like I said the flurry dummy is a thousand three hundred and forty seven I think I, I don't know I had to double check that one and then I hold three world record speed runs on this nobody beat the game faster than that yeah you can speed run this game the campaign you can speed run it and I, I beat a player who cheated his ass off to get the number one run time, and I still beat his record. Because I'm like, that's just the level I'm on. I'm like, I hold three records and all of this other shit. I'm like, don't even. Those players who want to talk, I'm like, don't waste your time with me. If you win, you get win. I, oh man, that's a great movie. Don't make me want to watch that tonight. <laughs> Look, now you got me wanting to watch that. That's a great movie. But it's rare to find good fighters, but when you fight them, oh yeah. Like when you said, I don't know if you remember me, I'm like, oh, this man again. I'm like, I think it's the dude of pressure. I had to watch, but this guy was amazing. I'm like, you made an impression. I'm like, he was lower on stamina for sure. We did. I don't think I have that one on recording, but we did. The first time we fought ever was three matches, called it a day, went to a matchmaker, and accidentally ran into each other again. I'm like, oh, he's dying. I'm like, I noticed that last round you were dying, and I'm like, oh, man. Now, what makes this even funnier is I've actually been taking a giant fallback on Creed because there ain't nobody worth fighting right now. Anytime I would step in the ring any given time, I win. So I pretty much, honestly, hit me up. I don't give a shit. Unless if I'm busy, then I'll go and I'll message you on the app. But I don't shit. I don't care. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's be real. And then honestly, even if you can't uh, join us for the fight night itself because of work, you could. I could invite you to the server to see what we do. And then you could see the videos and stuff that we do, the records we hold, personal shit, like all that stuff. It's amazing. Trust me, you would make a fine addition, not to mention there are fighters who like fighting outside of Fight Night. We like sparring with each other all the time. And I tell you, those guys, I got a lot of recruits right now. They're learning, but they've been, they just need a player who's going to solemnly push them. And the problem with just training with me is, yeah, they're getting better. I also know their moves now, too. Because, like, if you train with one player, it's like you can't adapt something new to go and see if it works or not. Because the guy you're trying it on already sees it firsthand. But that was an amazing set, man. I'm surprised you, you definitely went much longer than you did last time. So you definitely got an endurance game. Oh, it's very great. I don't want to go and uh, burn you out for the night. I'm assuming you probably got work tomorrow.
Oh yeah, just fuck him up. Fuck him up. Oh yeah. Especially after getting a good uh, endurance run. Oh yeah, fucking him up would be amazing. I would I would I would possibly do the same, but yeah. Hit me up on VR chat. I would love to get you on VRC so we could chill. I'll send you a honestly I think my tag's the same as my game user. I didn't change it. I've had my name for over seven years now. I don't plan on changing it. Yeah, send that stuff. I'll uh, send you the request. I also, I'll see when you're on. I use, I take a look at the site all the time. But yeah, for sure, that was. Oh yeah, I feel you. I've, I've been playing a lot of Lego Marvel. <laughs> look, man, I may be in my 20s, but damn. That, that shit beats a lot of modern made games. Let's be real here. Look amazing i don't know about anybody else but it's rare for them to make a quality game remember the time when they made a game and the game was fully completed instead of this drip feeding bullshit oh or when the you know the game used to not be toxic and all about competition but when you could just sit there fuck with somebody and be like oh hell no you didn't i've done that to my best friend where i would uh you play cold war with black ops cold war you heard of it? You you play Call of Duty, like modern day Call of Duty. You know you know how there's uh finisher moves. Well, you see, oh yeah. But I have a habit. I love sniping, and I know in private games, my best friend will do this to me all the time. So I got an adapted the C4, threw it up right at my uh, body, right against the wall. I'm so when he does it, click. No, you don't. <laughs> Every time, I always have some type of bullshit contingency player to say "fuck you," <laughs> to where you just won't try it no more. But the, like, th th that's the type of vibe I like giving. That's the type of vibe we generally have in uh, the group. If there's ever like an actual problem, I tell people this: if you guys ever get into a fight, I don't give a damn about the outcome. I don't care how you guys want to. I don't care what it's about. You gotta fight. Fight here, settle it here, call it a day. If you've got a problem, just fight. And if someone loses and you ain't happy, train up, get better, fight again. That's how it goes. All the problems settled here. Otherwise, we stay chill. We ain't, I ain't got time for that shit. Nobody does. I mean, let's be real here. Nobody does. I ain't got time for none that. We too old for that shit. But it was a pleasure fighting you again, man. Hit me up if you ever want another sparring session. I'd love that.